Hello, winter clothing lovers and fur coats fans. Welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and this is Curves on the Road. Today I have shopped on Shein and discovered a lot of cute pieces. We'll start with the t-shirts and then the main hero of today's movie will be the coats. First shirt or tunic I want to show you is this black number and I was really surprised how perfectly it fits me. I'm not sure how ladies with more talent would appreciate this one but on me it fits perfectly. It has a mesh sleeve and in here it actually has a wire to keep it up which we like. And peplum, peplum is evergreen. The only, if I really wanted to be nitpicking, there is like a bell that I'll probably never use that is kind of threading drastically, but who cares? So here's the peplum top. I love the cleavage. I like that it shows the shoulders, stays off of it. The sleeves are perfect. You can make them shorter if you want them to be just the elbow length. This looks stunning, stunning. This keeps it up so your bra won't be on display. I love it. It's so good. I can put the belt on it for you if you feel like that's what your heart desires but I don't think it like this particular belt gives it something super extra. I'm thinking more of some colorful one that will give it a splash of color. It's right in the middle of my butt, so it's not crazy long, but it's enough for me to be comfortable in it and I love it. The silhouette is just there and this will definitely be one of my favorite tops. The next t-shirt is my dreaded crop top. It has again dramatic sleeve and it is really really open everywhere. There's not much fabric going on per se there. Unfortunately, this one is not that fabulous material. It's polyester. So would I recommend it? This one? Uh, I think I could live without this one. The top like this, very cute. Just a little midsection showing. Very cute. The only problem is I can use just one hand. The other one has to be securely on my cleavage and keep my girls safely in. So that's a no-go. I think a stitch might solve the problem and it will be a cute top. I love myself a huge sleeve. It's very, very pretty. And the material on is actually not that crazy bad. I can live with it. Do I sweat? Yeah, I do, but since it's a crop top, it's not bad. I actually really like it. All it needs is a little stitch and it will be fine. It's a little big on me. I think like one size smaller would be better around my waist, but then the arms, who knows? So yeah, I stick to my forex and I'm happy with that. Maybe even for Halloween or some party with costumes, this could be great because like it has the drama in it and you don't have to do much. My absolute favorite color, dark green. It might need a little bit of ironing or steaming, but I mean, it has the boho vibe. So let's say that's natural. Wrinkles are natural and we should be proud of them. Um, it's very soft material, very nice, very pleasant. This one's probably more summery, but if you put a cardigan over it, you can wear it even in winter and you'll be comfortable and you won't be sweating in it. Very nice. Again, a belt, this time no threads. This is the top on. I would say similar comment to the previous one. 
it will need a stitch. It has this kind of buckle to make it smaller, but it's at the point where it doesn't help anyone, or at least not me. So I'll need a stitch around here and it will be perfect. It has a little peplum. It's a bit shorter than the other peplum, actually quite short, but it doesn't really matter. I love this top because of the sleeve, no sleeve. I'm cautious about my arms. I don't like how they are shaped in the upper arm part. So I always try to get a sleeve. But these one basically don't have much of a sleeve, but it covers just the part that I don't like. So this is brilliant. And honestly, like, I don't care about my arms normally, but on pictures, I just don't want them. And this will be great. If you stand the right way, you just have everything you like covered, covered. Very nice material, very cool. I wish it was a teeny bit longer so that it covers my butt, but even like this, super cute. And the design, I'm still wowed how Shein has cool design for plus size people. This is for one of the examples where it helps a lot. And it's so simple. This is the last t-shirt on. It's really cute and the material is so soft. And for this one, I have a special purpose. I have a dress that I showed you in some previous videos that has a gorgeous skirt, but terrible top. So I'll just cut off the skirt and sew it on this comfortable, soft, nice t-shirt. Watch out for my DIY video of Shein clothing. Do you also have a garment that you really want and you're trying hard and again and again you buy it and it never looks on you like on the pictures in the magazines? That's me and trench coats. This one's super light. It doesn't have any lining, so it will not keep you warm. It's more like autumn slash spring. I hope spring comes early this year. Coat. And I was hoping to get, you know, the detective look like Colombo or Cluzo from the Pink Panther. But yeah, if I put it on for you, I mean, it kind of looks like more I want to flash you in a park than a detective. Maybe if we button it up, bear with me. And if we belt it, what do we think? Does it look any good? Uh, wait, how about like this? Do I look like a detective? Okay, I tried. About you but I prefer the real fur on the animal it originally grew on so I never buy fur coats that are not faux fur and here I have two amazing pieces where no animal was harmed in the process and the first animal imitation is and now we have a problem is it cheetah looks like cheetah one of my friends who saw it is like, uh, what's that coat of hyena there? It's not hyena. It's gorgeous. It's some cat for sure. It fits perfectly even around my big arms. It's super teddy soft. I love, 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 love the fur on it. It has pockets, which we love. The only thing I will have to add myself is some button. 
there is no button anywhere so you can just wear it open and I'm feeling if it gets really chilly I might need to just close it to to feel better but otherwise yeah I feel expensive it's really cool I'm not sure if it's really like mountains cold winter clothing if you know what i mean it is warm for sure but it is not hot 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 so you might need a sweater underneath keep in mind and finally this coat is really extra i don't know what it is this year but i'm really into the black and white combination and this bad boy is zebra yes that's correct like people in africa call them zebra not zebra so yeah this is the animal or is it though i'm not sure i would imagine the stripes on zebra to be bigger but otherwise as a coat i mean fluffy very same material as the hyena one uh, I mean cheetah and amazing it's just a bit longer this one goes down to my knees and again the same problem it doesn't have any buttons but this one unfortunately doesn't even have any pockets look at the material though I'm not sure if this is a jacket or a coat but since it has fur I think it's more of a coat I just love it. Like, it's so fluffy. It's so fluffy! I love it. Look at the material. That's so amazing. It sheds a little bit. I won't lie to you. It sheds like there's some pink fluff around. But for the Pink Panther costume, it's great. And it's like a simple piece, you know? You're wearing just black, kind of boring outfit. And when you put something like this over it, I mean, it gives it a little special something and the hair moves with you. Yeah, I really, really like it. You might have seen this coat in my Pink Panther video. I'll link it somewhere around if you didn't and want to check it out. So that's it, that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why don't you give me a furry thumb up and you can subscribe to my channel because I upload every Sunday fashion content, traveling and a lot more. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely rest of the day and bye.